right, hello everybody. James here again for Feed Your Beast. And today we're going to be talking about furnaces. Yeah, I know it seems a little basic. And at first we're going to cover the basics, but it's something worth covering because we have some pretty nice high-end stuff here the lobby may or may not know about. Uh, right off the bat you have your typical furnace you know first 10 minutes of the game type stuff uh, use coal charcoal coke coal whatever type of you know wood a lot of stuff you can burn in this to smelt your items um, you know first couple things you're going to be smelting is probably going to be your iron gold um, you know wood into charcoal so on and so forth great little start not even going to show you how to make it because if you don't know how to make that something's wrong Okay, next thing is going to be your upgrade to that. It's going to be the iron furnace. Very similar to the regular stone furnace. And we'll look right here. This is how you make it. Very easy. Just iron in a row like you would make a regular furnace. Um, but the advantage of the iron furnace is that it's 20% faster and 25% more efficient. So not only can it make... 10 items per piece of coal it is also instead of taking 10 seconds per item it takes eight seconds per item so there you go uh and it just started raining that's perfect let's see if that'll work uh, then once you have you know upgraded to the iron furnace because it's definitely worth it because it is more efficient and it takes less time, you're going to want to get into an electric furnace. Now, the electric furnace is 12.5% faster than the iron furnace. So, a little quicker still, but it's going to require you to have an energy source, something like this generator here. Generator is very easy to make. It's your first level power source. Uh, I will be coming out with a series of video on electric power, so stay tuned for that, and we'll dive into that a little bit more and uh, just so you know there's wires running underneath here I like to keep it nice and clean again we'll we'll have a little two three five part series on electricity and we'll get into that a little more so the electric furnace is a little bit faster than that the nice thing about this unlike the other two is once it's done smelting, it stops using energy. With your first two types of furnaces, um, if you throw a stack of coal in there, it's gonna burn it out, whatever the last piece it was using out. So it, is, it can be kind of wasteful. This is a little bit more efficient. And last on our list is the induction furnace. It is an electric operated furnace. We're gonna have two input slots, two output slots. Uh, this is the bad boy of all furnaces. This is what you wanna shoot for. Now, the reason I have two of them here, you'll notice here, we do have electrical power going to it, zero heat. Now, when you apply a redstone current to it, uh, I like using a switch. You can preheat it, basically, and it'll be on. Now, it does require energy to stay on, so depending on what your energy source looks like, you may or may not want to keep it on. Uh, with the regular one, without it on, it will not start building heat until you throw an item in. And once you do that, you should see here, there we go, it starts building heat. Now, it, re it will use a ton more power when it's not heated up than when it's already heated. Um, let's just throw something in here real quick. Now you notice this is why you want this. <laughs> Fully heated up induction furnace just rocks. And not only that, uh, she was, um, throw two stacks. So it's going to be able to cook two stacks at a time and uses the same amount of power. So very, very super efficient. Definitely the way to go. Now on your electric furnace you're going to make it like this you can take an iron furnace some redstone and electric circuit your induction furnace you're going to need an advanced machine block which you can look that up really easy how to make it and let me just clear that right there uh, and copper ingots and an electric furnace uh, in the case just in case you don't know how to look up how to make things, what you're going to do is just type in in the bottom here. So let's just even do a partial search. Uh, 
advanced machine block. Now you can click it or you can click R over top of it. When you do that, it's going to give you the recipe on how to make it. Uh, you're going to need advanced alloy, carbon plates, and a machine block. Carbon plates are easy enough to make. Advanced alloy, you're going to need a few machines, a uh, compressor, and a rolling machine. But once you're up to this point in the game, that should be pretty simple. So there we have it. Quick explanation of furnaces. Um, if you have any questions about these, let me know. And I will end this with saying, I do know there are some other type of furnaces. What I wanted to cover here was just the ones uh, that are in the industrial craft mod. Uh, once I get a little bit more into the build craft and a few of the other mods, we'll cover those furnaces then. But until then, thanks for watching.